So we've successfully been able to use a curve and point to control the thickness of our panel frames. But what if we wanted to control which one we use and be able to switch from one to the other? Well, to do that, we have the distance that's coming out from the points. I am going to delete this. We have the distance between that defines the relationship between this point and the rest of points as we know it. But we also have the distance that defines the relationship between this curve and all the other points. Okay. What if we wanted to control which type of which one of these distances get fed into um, our remapper? Okay. So the way to do that is something called value list. Value list. Okay. Now a value list is essentially lets you create a list of values. So it's a list of values. Okay. Like just just like it says. So you can here represents the text that is shown on the value list and then the value that comes out when that particular text is chosen okay so you can enter like numbers you can enter an expression you can enter a formula in this case we just want two okay and we want this to be zero and this to be one and you see why let's call this curves I mean a point and call this a curve okay so when we put a panel here you see that zero is what's coming out but when you click the drop down and you click curve you get a one the other kind of you can have a checklist which when you check that it shows you two of them or it shows you one of them okay you can also do a value sequence so you can slide through you know from this to that to that or you can do a value cycle so it's just like the value sequence but it just keeps going on and on okay in this case we're going to use a drop down so we can select which one now that we see what's coming here the next thing we want to do is use something called pick and choose. Pick and choose. Okay. What this does is it takes in a value or a, a series of, it calls it patterns, but it can be whatever. Like if you have zero, one, three, and this is zero one three it will match the corresponding stream as you see here to the pattern so in this case we have zero and one so by default it has zero and one but you can make more you know in this case we just need zero and one and we're going to pass in the value from here and the values that we're going to try and match are the driver values. So we're going to pass our point, which is zero in there. And we're going to pass our curve, which is in here. Now I'm going to hide this point and hide this curve. point is coming from oh yes so this point is showing because right now we have it on point but if I change it to curve it's going to select that okay 
point and curve all right so that's the value coming out from here so we can use this pattern which is it can be a list it can be a single item um, right now it's a single item that same one and so it's giving us the corresponding stream of one which is the curve all right so the other thing we want to do is the value what if we want to be able to see this point better okay so let's 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 make it a sphere instead so a sphere we do a sphere okay and then we give it the point okay now we want to pass that in here hide this and so when we do a point it shows the sphere because it's zero that's coming out and now we want to you know give this a color okay swatch and then preview this geometry so you plug that here and we plug that here so you'd see that when we hide this it changes okay all right so what if now we can visually see what we're selecting when we use the value list but what if we now we want to push the corresponding data which is the distances either using the point or using the distance from the curve we want to pass that into the remapper what we do is use another thing called stream filter stream filter put that in here and the gate is almost like the pattern where it has it takes in a value an index so this one can't really take a list it takes only an index and the index we have or the index driver is what's coming out from the value list and the stream is going to be the distance here and then stream one is going to be the distance here so this this is the distance that defines a relationship between the point and the centroids of the panel and then this is the distance that defines the relationship between this curve and the centroid of the panels okay so you will see that when i switch this to point the value changes switch this to curve it changes okay so i'm going to delete this move this here and change and just connect that into here okay let's let's just move everything so they're closely related okay so see as we switch right now it's the curve okay so now we can manipulate the curve but oh the architect said they would like to use the point so we just go click here shift to point see and now we can manipulate with the point okay so that's how you control the data essentially that starts to drive what the remapper is doing again the pick and choose that essentially allows you to specify the index the corresponding index houses the geometry that we're passing out so when that index is called it calls the corresponding uh, geometry and then the same thing when that index is called it calls
cause the corresponding geometry, uh, the corresponding list of distances. And that's why when we call it, it responds accordingly.